Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing another reading vlog. This is a random reading vlog that I've decided to do just because I have been reading a lot lately. So I felt like I might as well just get it on camera. I don't know how much books I'm going to read in this vlog. I technically have already started reading a book before filming this intro. So just to start out, I have started reading Air of Fire. I know, I know, I know, I know. Finally. Since the last time we spoke, I think that this was on my November TBR. Um, as you can tell, I never ended up reading it. I did take a break from reading the Throne of Glass series because I wasn't necessarily in the mood to like annotate a book, let alone a full series. Now, I know that Crescent City 3 just came out. I do already have it. I do already have the exclusive edition. I haven't read it yet because I want to finish Akatar and I want to finish Throne of Glass before jumping into Crescent City. I have already read Crescent City 1 and that was before I read any Sarah J Maas book. I will be honest, I was a little confused in the beginning of that book. But before I continue on with the rest of that series, I do want to finish Throne of Glass and Akatar. And I did read quite a bit of this book yesterday. It, it doesn't really feel like a lot, but I definitely read more than I normally would have if it was any other day. I got up to page 129, so basically 130 pages I got into the book so far. And I have already started annotating the book, which is exciting as well. I already knew before starting this book that I wasn't going to go all ham with annotating the book. Because when it comes to annotating a book, it takes me twice as long to read a book. But I do want to get through this book very, very quickly. And I do want to like keep reminding myself, hey, is this something that you should be annotating? Is it necessary? Are you going to look back at this as you continue on the series or in future reference? Uh, I annotated Crown of Midnight. Look at that look at that that is crazy and then if we look i just opened a random page and this is actually the best example i annotated like two pages sweetie did we need to to annotate that much and then for assassin's blade i annotated just as much if not more i do not want to annotate this much when reading air of fire that's where we're that's where we're standing when it comes to air of fire right now of uh, just my current thoughts on the book since i have already started it already it is a quite a slow start into the book however at the end of chapter one we're already we're already into the story and we're already like picking up basically where we left off at the end of crown of midnight we are introduced like to like a couple new characters at this just very beginning of the book so it is exciting to see someone new come into the story however we don't really know much about like one of the characters whereas another character you're kind of just following along until it seems like I I'm in my head I'm guessing that until everyone like comes together that's when this person's gonna become important that's a theory that I have which I think is like what's going to happen but it's been a quite a slow start we definitely are going to see more development like of like a character arc from Selena she needs to change for the world that she is living in to change that's pretty much all I'm going to say on this book. So I'm going to leave you guys at that. And we're just going to continue when I start reading Air of Fire again. Let's get into it.
next day. I read quite a bit yesterday. My goal yesterday was to read for like at least three hours and I ended up reading for almost five hours. Now, I got about almost halfway into the book. So I would say about like 45% into the book. And without giving any spoilers, I'm really enjoying the book so far. The book is giving like five stars right now, which is surprising because the last time we spoke, I had said that the book was kind of starting out at like a slower pace, which is not something I'm ever mad at. We can definitely see where the story is going so far. I will say um, that there is a slight romance in this book or just like romantic feelings between like two different people. And I'm definitely enjoying that part of the story as well. Every character's perspective that I'm reading in this book, I am not bored by it at all. Even though you're trying to figure out how they fit into the story and what part they're going to play in terms of this political agenda they have within the story. I can see myself finishing this book in I would say two days but I just wanted to give you guys an update on the book and I'm gonna try and read as much as I can today. I'm excited to see where the story is going to go and I'm really happy with the way the story is going uh, without giving too much away. We're watching Selena's character grow within the story. We're seeing more of her like character arc and the way her perspective might change in terms of like politics and what is expected of her. So that is it. I'm going to get back to reading and I'll see you guys when I see you. guys so i thought i would update you really quick because i am going to take a break from reading for a second because i'm so tired that i need to take a nap i actually have read up to basically like three 310 309 309 so i've reached actually like part two in air of fire part two is called air of fire i just finished reading a section where we learn a lot more about a character that we've been following since the beginning of this book and the information that we learn about this character helps me and like is meant to help the readers understand why this character is the way they are why they make certain decisions why they carry themselves a certain way and why they talk to for for example selena why they speak to selena so harshly and so bluntly and i will say it was quite sad to hear so i for the past few chapters that i have been reading oh my god i was kind of crying like bawling and that's like another reason why i need to take a nap because i need to put this book down for a second because i'm just gonna i've reached a portion in the book where it's just sadness after sadness after sadness and it's not nothing to say like let's say something bad happened in the story it's just like it's a lot of sad emotions and sad feelings of like everything that has happened so far since throne of glass since assassin's blade it's just tragedy after tragedy and it's it's so hard to hear 
how feelings just have been built up throughout every event, instance, and occurrence that has taken place book after book after book. And I hope that's not too much of a spoiler, but I just reached a sad portion of the book that just I need to put it down for now because it's hitting a little too close to home. So I thought I would update you guys on where I am. I am going to take a break right now. I will update you guys when I learn a bit more or I get farther into the story. So yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully tonight i will try and update you guys tonight before i go to bed if not then i will see you guys tomorrow morning Hi guys, I have actually made a bit of progress on the book. I don't know how far I was last time we spoke, but I'm definitely three quarters into the book right now. I'm about to hit page 400 and the book is getting good. Not saying it was bad before, but it's definitely really good now and the stakes are getting higher. Uh, the characters are, they're building stronger relationships and you can definitely see, for example, how far Selena has come and how she's growing and she's just becoming a better version of herself and she's starting to form a different mindset of what she can do, in a sense. I hope that it's not too much of a spoiler, but I wanted to speak to you guys in particular about the way this story has been structured. This isn't a spoiler either. For example, we're switching between different characters like every two or three chapters. Like we'll read about one character for two chapters and we'll switch to another character for one chapter and then we'll switch to another character for like another three chapters. So it's, we're getting an even amount of each character, enough for us to care and enough for us to want more of that character's story and how what they're bringing to the book and it's also structured in a way where for example the chapter would start and say two weeks have passed and i've been doing this for the majority of my two weeks while also working on these skills and like i've also been in this mindset and then the next chapter you follow another character on what they have been doing for two weeks so as a reader we're following them how do i say this we're following the characters in like present time no character is slightly behind from the last character's point of view that we just read and i think it's so clever the way sarah j mass wrote this book because it shows that she really planned out this book she knew what she wanted to do with each character in the story. She knew what journey she wanted to put her characters on. And every single character in this book has a purpose. It, it's important for you to understand what is happening through and through this book. Not saying it's difficult to understand, you have to like kind of think about it for a second, but even with small instances that take place that come up in the story, it's everything is coming full circle full circle and it's just so satisfying to read about i'm absolutely loving this book it's still sitting at like a five stars for me i'm trying my best to read as much as i can tonight because tomorrow's actually my brother's birthday and i don't think that i will be reading as much tomorrow I won't be finishing it tonight, but I'm going to try and read as much as I can. But I wanted to update the blog, tell you guys where I'm at, where my thoughts are, and how I'm enjoying the book so far. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip.
Hi guys. The last time we spoke, I spoke about my thoughts on the book, what I was really enjoying about Air of Fire, and I ended up finishing the book the next day at nighttime, so the next night, and I really loved Air of Fire. Just a quick review of my thoughts before I end today's video. First off the bat, five stars all around well deserved some people say that air of fire is kind of like a, a slower book not as much action-packed compared to the rest of the books in my personal opinion that is true to some extent you do get some action towards the end of the book and there's a lot of twists and turns things that you definitely did not expect to happen but for this book it did not bore me the way other people said it did for them i loved all of the characters that i read about in this book i'm not going to say who the characters are because you do meet some new characters and i think that everyone's story was very well written the events that you follow in this book are there for a reason and i think that's another reason why people probably say that it's slow because or that it's kind of maybe a snooze fest because you're following these characters and some people probably would think like oh i don't really care about those sto their story i don't really care about this character these characters are important and they're in the story for a reason and that brings me back to my thoughts on what i was saying about air of fire in the last clip sarah g mass planned this book out to a t she put everything in for a reason everything that is said in this book is there for a reason everything has a purpose there are things that are spoken about in this book that are events that took place since book one. Oh my god the way everything just kind of comes to full circle and i'm sure that everything else will make more sense in the next book queen of shadows i actually do have the book it's right here and i'm very excited to read it i will be taking a little break from this series for a short period of time uh just because i want to like get a nice little like refresher and like clean sleep before i jump into the next book i don't want to get into a slump with this series i want to finish this series this year and particularly i want to finish it before the summer i already take a long time to read series so in terms of era of fire i'm really glad that i took the opportunity to read this book because i was in i felt like i was entering another slump and i this book quickly pulled me out of it i was afraid to read this book because it is like the first big book of the series and i will be honest and say that i was kind of waiting for the book to end but that was simply because i just wanted to read this book very fast like it's really long and stuff but i annotated this book i remember i'm not sure if i said this in the beginning of the video but i said i was going to annotate this book I said that I didn't want to, or at least I hope I said, that I did not want to go overboard with the annotations. And it may look like I did a lot of annotations. I don't think I went overboard with the annotations. In fact, I think that I was pretty even throughout the entirety of the book. Everything's pretty evenly spaced out and I only highlighted and annotated where I felt like was important enough to annotate and things for me to remember. And... I'm really happy about that. It did not put me into a slump because that's the only thing with annotating that I'm always afraid of. I'm afraid that when I annotate a book, it does take me twice as long to finish the book because I tend to annotate a lot. And when I'm done reading the book, I feel like I'm entering a slump. I feel like I need to read a book where I feel like I don't need to annotate the book. And I quickly enter a slump after that or I don't really want to come back to this series quickly because then I I want to annotate the rest of this series for sure so that was my thoughts on this book I'm not really gonna say anything else I felt like I already said everything that I needed to say during the clips that we spoke to each other I am going to end the vlog right here I'm very happy that I took the opportunity to read Air of Fire it was definitely an enjoyable read I'm so glad I got around to it I Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to comment any video ideas that you guys have for me. I am trying to get a little creative and like think outside the box. Try to do like kind of fun videos or themed videos so that you guys can 
I don't know, get a little excited with me while I am filming these videos, be sure to like this video. It really does help me a lot and it makes me feel good about doing these videos because I know that other people like watching them. And be sure to subscribe. Subscribe means so much to me. It lets me know that you guys really want to see more of my videos and you guys like my content. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and I will see you guys in the next video.